good reason for starting off with these two Pokemon. What I've done is, remember that I taught Billy Bob Protect? I am counting on Billy Bob to draw in water type attacks to it. I do have Shockwave to worry about, and I do have Rock Tomb to worry about. But what I'm hoping is that he won't be able to resist the low special defense of Aron and go for that, while I can just use Sveal to just kind of take apart that Quagsire. Because I'm legitimately worried about Quagsire right there, and I just want it down as soon as possible. Let's see if I'm right. Water Gun? Yep. Predicted right. Rock Tomb? Oh, he missed! Okay, that feels good. With how often my Rock Tomb was missing, feels completely fair that his Rock Tomb misses as well when he uses it. Okay, good. Alright, let's see. Um... Protect has a chance of failing if used more than once in a row. Or if used more than once, uh, consecutively. I, I, that means the same thing. Uh, I'm just gonna hope that I get lucky with it. Alright, let's see. Let's use Protect. It works! Alright. So let's hope it keeps drawing attacks. Water Gun? Indeed it does. Water Gun? Yeah! I predicted him perfectly! Alright, here we go. Ice Beam, it's going down. So there goes his first Pokemon. That feels great, man. Now... I do have to say, I don't want to jinx this though, but I'm really glad that this is going so well though because I consider this one of the harder fights in all of XD. It kind of really bothers me. By the way, oh, Lunatone! Um, dang, I was about to say something else though, but Lunatone! It is a Shadow Pokemon. When fighting it, it knows Shadow Sky and Shadow Wave. It is, I don't remember that. I just know that it damages non-Shadow Pokemon. Throw it up on screen right now if it does, and of course the Pokemon that I wanted to hit kind of avoids it. I know it wouldn't have been very effective though, but it's still a powerful stuff. Oh no! Oh, thank God! Oh, man. Oh, I am glad that was a critical. Oh, that was nice. By the way, I want to point something out there. It still kind of sucks that you have to sit through it saying like, oh, so-and-so is buffeted by this weather. Did you notice, though, that Lunatone's getting hit animation was happening while it was saying that it was raining? That is something that I really, really wish the main series games would have done around this point in the series, but it just took them forever and a day to actually do it. So, I am... I actually really approve of that. I am glad that we have that in this particular game. It took long enough for the main series games to start doing that, though, so I'm glad that we got it here. Uh, oh. Ow. Uh, yeah, that hurts. Okay. Who do I want to go with here? Um... Let's see if I'm right. No. Ah, no. Crap. Crap. Oh, man. Took out two of my Pokemon in one turn. What about Lantern? Just because it's got water moves. That water pulse would take out Jinzo instantly, and I think that's an important thing right now. No! Crap! Oh, thank God. Okay. Good, 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 good. Okay. Good, 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 good. Go, 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 go. Yes! Uh, freaking scared me. Okay. Now, okay. One less thing to worry about. Cast form! Uh, level 27, normal type, forecast for the ability. Weather ball, water pulse, shockwave, icy wind. Now, cast form changes its form depending on the weather. And it has an attack called weather ball, which changes depending on the weather as well. And we have a shadow move that is based on weather here. So what happens when that happens? Cast forms... Weather Ball becomes question mark, question mark, question mark type. That is one of the only times that you can use an offensive move that is question mark, question mark, question mark type. So, a bit of interesting trivia there, actually. It's not really that particularly good a Pokemon. It does have a Water Pulse, which I'm a little bit worried about, but aside from that... Now that we've gone through all this Pokemon, the thing that I wanted to say before we sent out Lunatone, what the hell is up with Snaddle's design? Like, they mean for him to be menacing, though, but dude, he's got, like, old man saggy cheeks and, like, the Bride of Frankenstein's haircut. And then he, like, has, like, rubber waiting jumpsuit going on, like, as if he's gonna go walk through a swamp. Not to mention he, like, just has this weird, like, waddle when he walks. It's the weirdest thing ever. I don't know. I don't get it. All right. Uh, huh. I'm gonna go Shockwave. And on Jinzo's turn... On Jinzo's turn, I'm gonna take a risk. I'm gonna throw an... I don't think it's gonna catch, but I don't know. My luck has done stranger things this game. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I need this to work. I really do, because that... I'm scared right now. One. Two. Three. Got it! Yes! Ah, oh, I think I just clutched this, man. I, this was a close fight. All right, Shockwave is not gonna beat that Matang. Not by a long shot. Critical! Dude. Damn, Snaddle. That is the definition of clutch right there. Oh, I love my Volterra. I love my Jinzo. I love all my Pokemon. Duh, no, he says. Wow, he was actually kind of rich. 
All right, Lunatone goes to the storage system. Great. Today we will leave quietly, but don't you forget us. <laughs> I love his running animation. That needs to be like a... Whoa, look at her running those things. Okay, I'll stop making fun of her shoes. Thank you. You kept them from taking our videotapes. We got some explosive footage. My name is Marcia. Yes, I know it's Marcia and not Marcia. I'm sorry. I just am not used to Oranians having normal names. Oranians? We were caught gather we were, we were gathering news from Fennec when Cypher caught us and brought us here. But there's a silver lining in this. We managed to capture your heroics on tape. We did, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, you bet I did. I got everything on tape this time. Okay, we need to rush back to Pyrite and get this news out onto the air as soon as possible. Let's meet again. Thank you for everything. Man, she's a fast runner. Like, I know that the guy's got a cameraman, so it's only natural that, you know, she runs. Okay, so whatever you do, do not forget that. And hey, Justy, are you an imposter of an imposter of an imposter of Justy? Or are you just Justy? Michael, right? Your actions saved the city. We all owe you big thanks. I'd like to keep in touch. May I get your PDA number? I'll, call, I'll give you a call if anything comes up. All right. So we now have Justy's PDA number. I've been thinking. I think Fennec, Fennec was targeted because Cyber wanted to quash rumors that they were spreading they were, they were spreading in town. People said they even sh have seen shady characters coming and going in the desert. People were talking about it. 